Hey Libra, welcome to your November 2024 weekly reading. It's going to be a reading from November 11th until the 17th. I hope you're doing well. We're just going to go ahead and get started and jump straight in. I do want to say if you would like to book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description. If you click that link, it'll take you straight to my website, offer a couple different uh, readings, and then from there you can see which reading uh, you like, and then you can uh, purchase a read. Let's take a look here, Libra. You got two fives that have come out here, and I'll show the cards here as well. You also have two eights that have just come out here as well. So, and I'm gonna do, I'm, we're gonna go deep into the tarot part of it, but I like to channel off the top of my head when I see things. Um, but you have two fives, two eights here. So there's definitely challenges, stress, obstacles. You're trying to have your breakthrough moment, but it's like you really got to take on this responsibility with things and things could feel quite heavy, but it's almost in a way it's like, you know, like there's some type of change here that's happening, but it's a good change. Let's see here. A lot going on this week. We have the full moon in Taurus conjunct Uranus on the 15th. Saturn comes direct that day as well. I like this you know there's a good turnaround here for you um there's a good turnaround here for you especially you know with saturn being retrograde right now and it's in your sixth house libra you know saturn is a planet that does a structure responsibility it's in pisces right now in your sixth house six house rules obstacles your day-to-day -day reality routine so things could feel quite messy right with saturn retrograde and pisces in that six and it could almost feel as if maybe there's obstacles in your way that feel like almost impossible to overcome or you're just realizing like holy fuck this has been tough um but with it coming direct it's going to help uh it's going to help you gain some traction here in regards to figuring out what you can do to move through some of these obstacles you pulled the third house card it says communication here communication is going to be really big for you um this week But it's also the it's like newer ambitions that I'm seeing you have here as well with this third house. Third house does rule communication, but it also is a house of ambition. It's your self interest, right? It's how your thoughts and feelings flow toward yourself and toward your desires. And I think that there's newer things that you're desiring at this time. You pulled this embracing card. So I think Spirit's saying to embrace the transformation, and we're about to jump into your reading here. I think you're definitely going through you know, a transformational moment here, and um, it can feel emotionally challenging. It definitely can feel emotionally challenging here. He pulled this mindful card that says group think here. Yeah, and I, I think Spirit's just wanting you to be mindful of like your thoughts and your feelings and all that stuff and how they're being directed, where they're flowing toward. That's that third house. Like, where are your thoughts and your feelings flowing toward at this time? And I don't want to sound preachy or like a motivational speaker, but like, where are your thoughts and where are your emotions flowing toward? You know, cause they can be being channeled in a destructive way with this five of cups. So we're about to get into your read. Um, but it's about how you control that and where you direct it. Because I do feel with that, with, like I said, in the very beginning you have these two fives and you have two eights here, there's challenge and strife and you're having to get creative here to really figure out how to overcome some obstacles. And the eights that are here is like, okay, there's karmic rewards waiting, but it is almost as if you're having to get yourself maybe out of some loop by changing the structure of how you do things. But I think by you doing that, right, by you intentionally focusing on how you can change the structure of things, that's what's gonna allow for you to get this big recovery here with this ace of cups being the outcome or for things to be turned around here in a good, positive, favorable way here. Let's go ahead and jump into your tarot. You pulled the five of pentacles here for the overall energy, and then you had the five of cups in your current energy. So those are the two fives that I was talking about here. Your overall energy being the five of pentacles. You could be struggling right now. It could even be financially. You could just be feeling you're not getting what it is that you need at this time, or you don't have what it is that you want at this time, and it's causing difficulty here. You could be in a transitionary period here, and uh, you could be feeling almost a, a, a quite bit lost here. And you could just be trying to like get through what you're what you're dealing with. The Five of Cups in your current energy it could be challenging. There could be emotional strife, emotional turmoil, sadness, grief. Five of Cups is when we're yearning for change and, and we're, our desires haven't been met. And that's what was like. So there's like this deep desire for change here is what I'm seeing in your current energy. You have the eight of cups here in your challenge. And then you have the magician as your advice. 
I think the Eight of Cups is very interesting. It's actually Saturn and Pisces, and Saturn and Pisces is coming direct, like I said, on the 15th with the full moon. So talk about like us being able to gain traction and also having some sort of pivotal breakthrough moment when it comes to understanding what it is that we need to do for ourselves to really use our life force energy to go about manifesting change. And Saturn giving us kind of that traction again. I always see Saturn and Pisces retrograde as like the wheels are spinning and it's just kind of like you're stuck. And it's like you're, it's like you're kind of moving forward, but you're not. And with it being pretty much stopped right until it comes direct on the 15th, it's like it just feels like time is not moving at all. It feels like we are just in a sinkhole. But you won't be for long, right? The Eight of Cups and the Challenge, I, I can see that. You have the Magician here as your advice. Your, your, your advice at this time is the Magician is as above, so below. It's how you manifest things using your thoughts, feelings, and attentions, emotions, beliefs. And your advice is to channel it in the direction, whatever it is you want to change, right? So channeling that energy. And that's what I was getting with the Five of Cups and this Third House Ambition card. It's interesting because the magician is Mercury, and Mercury rules the third, the third house. So it's the mind, the intellect, how one is processing things and where they're directing their energy. And I feel like your advice at this time is to direct it in the in the direction of what you want to change and direct it positively. You have the strength card here in the future. I see you being able to overcome these obstacles and these challenges. The strength card says, you know, you're a lot stronger than you think. You're a lot stronger than you think. And then with the Ace of Cups being here and the outcome, this is the positive emotion coming back, you feeling good again, you feeling grace, and you also feeling the blessing and the connectiveness to things here as well. You have the Queen of Cups here in your position of something you're unaware of that you need to be aware of here. Yeah, very interesting. We're about to clarify your read, but I think that with this Queen of Cups, you know, Queen of Cups is the the, the depth of the subconscious. She's the queen and she's the queen, she's the ruler of the subconscious. Right, so she knows how to go about really moving through difficult things. And one thing that you may be unaware of is like you may have to really tune into your inner world. You're a lot more of this five of cups energy, eight of cups, you're and you're a lot more resilient than you think you are. It's just having to get through this transitionary period. But once you move through this, I feel like it's like things will restore. It's like a quick turnaround here. Let's clarify your read here, Libra. Clarify the Five of Pentacles here for your overall energy. You pulled this leaf card. It says change. Yeah, and you're in a mere, you're in a period of change. All right. So this week is change. Clarify the Five of Cups in your current energy you pull this mountain card it says goals here and i think you're trying to accomplish some goals but it's just been disappointing you're like fuck it just can feel like there's obstacles i'm telling you that eight of cups and the challenge like there's obstacles and it just feels as if you're never going to be able to overcome these obstacles and you're having to go within and really find that resilience and it's been emotionally challenging but i think i think you're about to overcome some some big obstacle here that you've been dealing with Clarify the Eight of Cups in your challenge. You pulled this fish card. It says intuition. I think your challenge at this time is you're trying to really listen to your intuition, but it can feel confusing. It can feel confusing. Clarify the strength card here. Clarify the strength card here. Clarify the strength card here in the future. You pulled this lion card. It says temperament here. Yeah, you know, Mars is in Leo right now. And... You know, Mars and Leo really does deal with courage, right? Finding that courage and that strength and that conviction to push through things, right? And also Leo deals with your how you exercise your authority, not in a negative way, right? Not in a dominating way, but how you take the lead on things, right? And understand that you have strength, right? You have more strength than you realize to push through things. And I see you tapping into that and finding that here. Clarify the Queen of Cups here in your position of something you're unaware of that you need to be aware of. You pulled the Sunflower card. This is admiration here. Yeah, I think you're, you're just looking for the positivity, emotional positivity. And it's almost as if it feels like it's not there. 
but it is there. That's what you need to be aware of. It's like there's a lot of things that you can be grateful for and appreciate. So don't lose sight of the beauty of life and the beauty of things. So yeah, we can be struggling, but I think Spirit's really wanting you to see the beauty too in life. And uh, you know, don't lose sight of that beauty. Sometimes we can with that with that five of cups in your current energy. It's like sometimes we can just stay stuck and just thinking about the negative, and all we see is negative, and it blinds us to also a lot of beautiful things. Clarify the magician as your advice. You pulled this butterfly card. It says transformation, and it's with the magician, right? So, your advice here is a magician or a transformation. The magician, as above, so below, is the conduit of the divine. You can manifest anything, but it's how you go about using your energy, right? The magician has full control over all the suits, right? The, uh, the eight, or sorry, the pinnacle, the cup, the sword, the wand. So it's about working with the elements, working with the energy, and understanding that you can change your situation and bring in a deeper transformation with things. But it's how you manifest. It, it's how it's where you direct your energy, where you channel your energy, and channeling in the right direction, and sticking to the process here, because you're right there, Libra. Clarify the Ace of Cups and the outcome. You pull this Grapes card, it says blessings. And I think I said that right with the Ace of Cups. I was like, blessings, yeah, so here it is. So you, you being able to get your rewards and your blessings here and fill, and fill that energy of gratitude and grace again. You pull this key, it says reveal here. So I think there's, you pull this ancient wisdom, it says Sphinx, and you pull another one, it says flag devotion. So there's something here that you're going to love. And there's some type of new door here opening for you. And it's going to bring in that energy and that feeling of prosperity and abundance rather than the lack, right? With the two fives that we pulled. You pulled this wood card. It says growth, connection, support, renewal here. So I think you're building here and you're growing here, but it's been difficult. But I think you're figuring out how you can really put structure and implement structure with uh, when it comes to your goals. And that's what's helping you overcome things. You pull this voyage card here. So you're learning and you're growing. And I think the one thing that could be difficult at this time is to you know, not identify with maybe your mistakes or to not identify with you know, the bad right now. Because I think you're in a period of growth and you're learning here so it's about just embracing the transformational learning that's happening you pull this lost compass card it says getting back to integrity here so i think this is your chance here this week libra to get back in alignment with what your real desires are and start manifesting those things i see you finding a lot of happiness when you do so Wow, Libra, we just got through your reading really fast. Let's see. What is in the position of, where, where does your power lie this week? Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady wins the race. I know it's very boring, but it's practical, right? It's endurance and needing to be patient, but needing to do those little things that will all add up, right? And sticking to the process. What is in the position of the good stuff here happening for you this week? Well, this Ace of Wands card here. I just see you finding a deeper spark of motivation and inspiration here to really get up and do things that you need to do, especially if you've been kind of feeling lackadaisical. I think Saturn coming direct is really going to help. And uh, this full moon in Taurus conjunct Uranus is going to bring back. It's going to kind of shock us a little bit to, to make us get up and do things. All right. So that's what I got for you, Libra, in your reading. I appreciate you for watching. If you want to book a personal reading with me, again, that link will be down below in the description. If you're newer to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. Otherwise than that, I'm wishing you the best, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Libra.